I don't want to go too far down w- without saying we're not winning that game without our crowd. It, the, that was one of the best crowds that, that we've had here. Um, they just lifted us up. We were playing great in the first half. And then we had a bad three-minute spell, and, and then it was a war after that. And, man, that crowd was good. I mean, you could feel their energy. You could feel their support. And, and they lifted us to win. And um, I'm proud of the guys that hang in there, find a way. 2.30 in the game, and we're down three. And, and then we got a bunch of stops and made a bunch of plays down a stretch. So um, we know we're not perfect. Um, we're making a lot of mistakes I think are fixable. We're not patting ourselves on the back. Um, it's four games in. We, we know a lot of work, a lot of work's ahead of us. And um, but it's a good four games and to build on. And we know what we got to do next. Was that you? Or you can go ahead. No, nah, that, that doesn't say me. Yeah. But uh, you know, obviously, you get 11 steals. You force a lot of turnovers. You did turn it over. How much does that make up for not a great three-point shooting night? Not, not some around the rim just didn't go in for it. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot to happen in that game. And, um, you know, I think we missed two dunks. And uh, th- those have been nice to have. And But, you know, things like that happen, and you got to kind of overcome them. Um, we did it with some defense. Um, we didn't quite get stops we wanted to sometimes, but uh, we had enough aggressiveness, um, especially, you know, that towards the end, um, you know, to be able to stop a team that many consecutive times with this really solid, good defense. Um, X made a heck of a play to get the jump ball. And, um, you know, that was, that was big uh, to, get, to get the ball and go from up one. Uh, Fat did a great job knocking the free throws down. So um, even though we made mistakes, we could talk about them, we could fix them. We also did a lot of things right. And we're, that's a good team. Um, I said it before, and I'll say it even more now. That is a really good team, and I'm going to be surprised if they're not in the NCAA tournament. Um, that's, a, that's a really good team. Uh, when that 14 uh, nothing Radford run uh, happened at the end of the first half, um, what did you kind of say to the guys uh, once you went into the locker room to uh, try to get them back in the right head space? Well, we had the reset. And a lot of those mistakes and that, and that were, were self-inflicted. And, you know, we were making a mistake on one end and it was cost us on the other end. And um, we didn't make a lot of mistakes in the majority of the game. Um, but, but that was a bad segment. And, and you know what? I, I'm kind of glad stuff like that happens in a win because you can show the attention to detail we got to have in a possession and the focus we got to have all throughout it. So um, they're learning moments right now. And uh, we're going to chop the film up and, and get the guys working on it. And, and they've been very coachable. They want to get better. And we got to fix it. Um, we can't have moments like that very often. Coach, they seem to take you out of the style of offense that you wanted to, you wanted to play to run the court. Uh, I didn't run the court probably as much as you typically do. What was, what was the factor involved there? Big thing is we're taking the ball to the net a lot. And, you know, if you hold a team to 40% field goal percentage and get a lot of misses, you know, we can get out and transition more. Um, they're very deliberate on offense. And what they want to do is they kind of wear you down a little bit and they slow the pace down. They're one of the slowest teams in the country. They play in the 300s and pace per play. And we knew that. So they're going to make you guard longer possessions. And then after that, you know, you hopefully you get to stop and then you can run. But a lot of those possessions, we weren't getting to stop. Yeah, it was, um, you know, give, uh, give X and give TJ a lot of credit. Um, and actually give my staff credit. We, we blitzed the ball screen in that situation, and the players agreed that was the best situation to do. So we trapped the ball screen. Uh, they had those guards who were tough to stop. And, um, you know, X made an a intelligent toughness play, and uh, it, it was big. It, it, it was big because um, we felt like we had confident free throw shooters in. I mean, Terrence Edwards was going to demand the ball and, and get it. And so – a one-point game, trying to guard them is very difficult. A three-point game, you know, with us having fouls to give made it a little easier. I think it also speaks a little bit to, to Terrence's game. I don't know that you would have inbound the ball to him two years 
You're probably right. Um, you know, and then also, you know, he probably wouldn't be in the game for a defensive a segment. Um, you know, he's he, he's bringing great toughness and leadership, and and he's been very steady, and and, and he's been playing great. But his, his his mindset and his leadership have been very steady, and and we need it, and we you know we need it from him. We all just need points. We need everything. I didn't know that. He's coming in and, uh, Last year or this year? This year. Oh, really? Yeah. Or experience, maybe not by age, but experience. Um, but, you know, you look at the stat sheet, it's those guys who were, you know, putting up the points and rebounds or something, but he came in and kind of, you know, sparked a couple of those runs in the first half. The first and second half. Yeah, so we, we talk about all the time winning plays. And sometimes they're in the stat sheet, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're recognized, sometimes they're not. And, and, you know, guys are coming in, and, and, and we, we need guys to make winning plays. And sometimes it's a three, or sometimes it's, it's, it's a, a free throw. But other times it goes unnoticed except by the coaches. And we make sure to praise it. When we're watching film, we, you know, we praise guys that make winning plays because that's how you have a good team. You need guys to come in and, 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 and to make a play out there. Basketball's tough. It's fast moving. But you need guys who are courageous and willing to make those plays. Yeah, we actually um, we addressed um, just being lost in the possession. And we do something all the time. It's called DOD in practice, defense, offense, defense. And, you know, I, I, we talked about it and I wrote it down. And I said there's going to be four more offensive possessions and four more defensive possessions in the game. And the first thing, it starts with our stop. So we got to be really in tune to getting this defensive stop or a rebound or whatever it is to get the ball back. And then we turned it into points, came back, got another stop. And then it was a great segment right there, and, and the guys executed perfectly. But I like the fact is the guys weren't rattled in that moment. We're down two, we're down three with 2:30 to go, and at home, and things are tough. And and the guys had belief they're going to win. They knew they're going to get to stop and be able to make the plays. Anything else? I got one. Go ahead. Uh, just X is have... dying to talk right now. He. he, he, he... <laughs> He, he, he wants to cut me off. He's like, last question. Go ahead. Well, unless you want to call him on Blake and Kuna. Yeah. You about that trip. Um, obviously, you probably haven't had time to look at those teams too much, but some good mid major programs down there. Just what are you kind of expecting from that trip? Yeah, so um, we, we decided to join this tournament. There are, said there's going to be an upper bracket um, with, with teams that are successful that they feel like are going to be a top 120 or, or top 100 teams net ranking. And we want to be a part of that. We knew these teams are going to be good. So Southern Illinois, I know they're off to a good start. Um, Fresno State's got tradition. New Mexico State, I heard just got a big kid just kind of eligible from Pitt today. So um, NCAA cleared it just in time for Cancun. It's going to be a challenge. So um, I'll get to work on them tomorrow morning. The guys will get rest, and we'll go out to Cancun. And we know it's going to be a tough tournament. And, you know, hopefully we keep building. Um, we're not perfect right now, but uh, I think this team has something. They have something to them, and uh, it's going to be a fun journey.